Hey, sweetie. Good morning. Wake up. How are you feeling today? Hmm? Is it getting any better? Oh, you know, it's the flu and the flu state don't, they are not known for passing too fast. And do you know if you have still temperature? Well, yet it's normal for, for the flu. So, but don't worry, I'm here. And I also ran some errands for you. Well, you know, I, I went to the post office and I got you some magazines so you can read. Because I, lo I know you loved reading, even when you're sick. And um, I uh, also brought you some medicine from my home. So it's for relieving the throat ache and for, you know, to stop the, stop the coughing. Oh yes, the post office did have something for you. I think you ordered a lot of clothes online, could it be? Excuse me, what do you say? I didn't understand. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll be gone in 20 minutes, but just stay awake so we can take a look at your stuff, okay? Great. All right. So, this is what I got at the post, post office from you. These are clothes. Let's take a look. It's a hoodie. Put it aside for now. Just oh, is this a scarf? Looks pretty cool. Sorry, do you want me to open it for you? Yeah, let's take a look. Wow, this is beautiful. Sorry, what do you say? You like it? <laughs> yeah, I like it too. <laughs> cool. Put it away. And the last piece.
so cute. everything fun with you? Yeah. You want to take a look at the magazines I bought for you? Yeah? Got some really nice stuff, I think. So first of all, I bought this. <sighs> Fairly rich newspaper for you. Well, I know it's in German, but you need to learn German. And so you have enough to read. Let's see how rich this is. Look, they've got something about dogs. Yay, dogs. Oh, this sounds very interesting. I'll read it to you, okay? Fortschritt. Wer an den Fortschritt des Menschengeschlechts glaubt, den wird die Nachricht erfreuen, dass japanische Forscher einen Windelsensor entwickelt haben, der Signale sendet, wenn die Windeln voll sind. Der Fortschritt wäre vollkommen, gäbe es einen Sensor, der anzeigt, wenn der Kopf voll ist. Man könnte ihn dann, wie Thomas Bernhard im Kalkwerk sagt, auf das Papier stülpen und wäre auch ganz oben ganz sauber. Did you understand what this was about? Yeah? Not totally? Well, I'll let you figure out. Read. Of course, I didn't only pay. I didn't only buy this newspaper. Which is good for your brain. I also bought you. Take a look. stories. And what I like about this magazine is that uh, the pictures are really great every time. So, great photography. What else can I show you? Birds of Paradise, True Beauty. So. Oh, sorry, I didn't understand you. <laughs> okay. You want me to read something? Well, you know, these articles are really long, but I'll read a section for you, alright? something about the birds of paradise, okay? Good. Schrille Vögel in Haute Nature 
sie sind die Modezahn der gefiederten Welt. Mit extravaganten Roben und raffinierten Tanzeinlagen bezirzt Paradiesvögel Männer ihre Zuschauerinnen. Darunter auch eine Georeporterin. Die Redaktion hatte mir eine Modewoche der ganz besonderen Art versprochen. Mit extravaganten Glitzerroben und mit schrillem Make-up, mit Auftritten von Tänzern, Luftakrobaten und Drag Queens. Und alles begleitet von reichlich Sex und Rock'n'Roll. Die Shows seien exotisch, exotischer als in Paris, London oder Mailand und viel exklusiver. Selbst Vogue-Chefin Anna Wintour sei noch nie dabei gewesen. Wo denn, wollte ich wissen. In der Nähe von Manokwari, Hauptstadt der indonesischen Provinz Westpapua auf Neuguinea. Penisköcherträger? fragte ich irritiert. Nein, Paradiesvögel. Ich dachte Lagerfeld, Galliano, Coutier. Haute Couture eben. Nee, Haute Nature war die Antwort. So. It's about this woman, this journalist, going to meet the birds of paradise. All the other articles are just as interesting. Oh my god. Scary. So, what is the evil lion with his cap? Okay. And last but not least, I have. Some glory stuff for you. Come on, let me know what you like. Let's see. Oh yeah, here it is. So this is an Austrian magazine for women. That's why it's called the Wienerin. And it has all kinds of goodies. You know, all the things you must love in fashion. Um, fashion and makeup and yeah, all that good stuff. So, as you can see. These are all German magazines. You live here and you want to improve your German. So I, I help you by buying these beautiful magazines and the newspapers and also German medication. I'll just show you what I bought for you, okay? Just put this away.
come as a heartache relief. So, um, you have to wait until they dissolve in your mouth so you don't, you cannot swallow them in a hurry. They are harmless. They're also harmless. So can't do anything wrong. And we take one three times a day, maximum. And as I told you before, don't swallow them. Sorry, I didn't understand you. What was that again? No, no, it's an it's an old over the counter drug. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> and I didn't have to pay much, so don't worry. So you just choose one. of water and I'll bring you some water. And then you'll see in a few days everything is going to be fine again. I hear it's really a man's heart. Definitely really, really, it's a tough one, yeah. When did you go to the doctor already? No? Well, if it's not better in two days, I think you should go to the doctor. So, I think I'll leave you now if that's okay. Do you have any more questions concerning this? Um, it's alright. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. No. <coughs> I think you, you need a lot of sleep now, do you? Yeah. Okay. I just put them here with all the other stuff. So, yeah. You go to sleep now and I'll take care of the medication and I'll make you a fresh tea, okay? Right. Okay, sleep well, honey. Bye-bye.